our introduction. Again, we'll go through Contact Centre basics. I want to talk about key performance indicators. Um, not necessarily technical issues, but things that we as administrators need to be aware of because administration is not an end unto itself, but rather just a means of providing uh, essentially um, parameters and measurements that folks who manage maybe above our pay grade uh, are interested in. We'll look at the Cisco Contact Centre fundamentals and the Cisco Contact Centre portfolio. So the, I guess our first two topics are generic, uh, then moving into Cisco specifically. Firstly, with the Contact Centre basics uh, and at the risk of, you know, teaching you how to suck legs, what is a Contact Centre? Well, it's a chunk of technology uh, that allows callers with specific requirements, maybe accounts, maybe support, maybe sales, to be connected to a particular group of agents uh, that are determined to be best able to handle that call. Uh, those group, that group of agents is often referred to as a skill group or in the new uh, Brave New World, a precision queue. Uh, nonetheless, it's irrespective of how you, or what you call it, uh, it's the job of the contact centre technology to make the association and deliver the caller to the appropriate uh, agent. Part of the technology, of course, uh, is to provide an IVR functionality, interactive voice response response functionality uh, that inquires of the caller uh, what those needs are. So you might hear announcements for sales, press one for support, press two for account, press three, etc. Uh, and if there are no agents available in the desired skill group, once you've gone through whatever routing and scripting the contact centre sends you through, uh, you then have the ability to, to play announcements or music on hold loops uh, to the caller. When I say music on hold, I do not mean call manager music on hold, but rather uh, WAV files that might be played by virtue of the uh, contact centre functionality. Notice that these days we refer to it as a contact centre as opposed to a call centre. Uh, the reason for that is that apart from the traditional voice calls that we're used to, uh, contacts can now be made via email uh, or via chat. And again, um, I think we heard that uh, one of you guys had recently um, attended an ICTE class where you learned about the integration of uh, chat and email into the contact centre environment. There's a lot going on, you know, beyond just the traditional, uh, I want to call and be placed in a queue or, or, or speak to an agent. But having said that, it's still my sort of experience that, you know, 85%, I would think, uh, of contacts into a contact centre are still uh, the traditional telephone contact centre. That may be changing uh, over time and, and probably is as we are getting more into social media and uh, and things like that. Uh, but for now, if we get a good handle on the basics of our contact centre, the basics of the, the routing, um, the function of the IVR, the function of the contact centre delivering the call to the agent, essentially being, uh, I guess, the ACD or the automatic call distributor function, we're starting to get a good handle on uh, our contact centre uh, environment. 